As an organization, you're required to maintain the security of the traffic inbound and outbound. As we stated in Requirement 1016, you have to maintain that list of authorized services, protocols, and ports. We need to now look to making sure that you've actually implemented those. So we take that list of the protocols, ports, and services within your environment that you've approved, and we compare that against your actual routers and firewalls and making sure that those lists appropriately match up. So we've already talked about Requirement 116. It says that your organization maintain a list of authorized protocols, ports, and services. Specific to PCI DSS Requirement 121, it says that your organization is only allowed to use the protocols, ports, and services that are required for the operation of your business. So if you need a protocol, ports, and service, that's absolutely appropriate. Understand, however, that as an assessor, it's not our role to define your business justification, why you might need a protocol, port, or service. What we're looking for as an assessor is that you've done your due diligence to say, yes, this protocol, port, and service is absolutely required, and this is why it's required. So as part of that documentation in 116, we look for not only that it's listed uh, the, the protocol ports and services that, that are authorized, but what's the business justification for that? Why are you using that? If it's required, great, fine, we don't have a problem with that. But we're looking that you as an organization have done your due diligence, making sure that the protocols, ports, and services, the inbound traffic that you, you're allowing within your environment is required for business. If it is not required for business, it's required that you as an organization would shut that traffic down. 